In today's episode of Riding Shotgun, we head across state six hours to Spokane, Washington to pick up a brand new Walker T25i mower, where we bring it home and give it a nice detailed clean at HQ. And we also get a nice little surprise of 44 trees. How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose and TV YouTube channel. Let me guys, let me give you guys a rundown of what's going on today. So this weekend, tomorrow, I'm heading off to Spokane, which is about six hours away from me, to go pick up another Walker T25i uh, mower, and I'm really excited to do that. So, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I locked it, and I didn't even have that on there. That was, uh, that's a blah moment. Anyways, so what's going on is that I'm getting everything prepped up. So on my way in a town called Ellensburg, which is about three hours away, it's about halfway between me and Spokane. If, it, if you guys don't know where I'm at, I'll show you guys on the video. I'm basically as far west coast as you can get. And then, um, so basically I gotta go over the mountain pass. And after that, I'm meeting a guy to buy my fast track, which I have in this trailer, which we'll be getting out in a second. So what's nice is that uh, on the way over, I'll be selling my fast track and then go pick up a walker mower on Monday because that's when the uh, business is open so I can go pick it up. Um, I actually just sold my two Xmark 30 inch mowers uh, uh, two days ago. And then uh, sometime last week, I sold my Bluebird Aerator and the Thatcher since I just don't use them anymore and I just want to get rid of them because they're taking up a lot of space. Uh, so this is what we got going on today. Basically today I'm prepping all day for traveling across state. So I'm going to be taking the Chevy. I want to take my F-150 so badly. The only reason why I'm taking the Chevy is because it's supposed to snow in the mountain pass and I want to have a four wheel drive pickup truck. Though this thing sucks in mileage compared to my F-150 and my F-150 is in a, is a lot more comfortable ride than this guy. Um, mostly it's just the four wheel drive for the snow pass. That's the only reason why I'm taking this. And it has a little bit more uh, you know, power. It doesn't have as high a speed as my F-150, but it does have some good torque. So today uh, I'm changing the oil. All the shocks front and back I need to replace because I think they're pretty worn out because when I hit a bump, it just there's no spring at all. It's pretty stiff. So basically I'm prepping the truck today. So what I got going on right now is I got to take the fast track, which I have in my big trailer. I got to pull out both mowers and place it in my small enclosed trailer and then take out all the stuff in there and put it in here since I don't need it. So the best trailer for this trip is the enclosed. Uh, that way we can lock everything up. That way everything's out of the weather. And like I said, I really want to badly take my F-150, but the only thing is the snow pass. Though it's supposed to rain, it's supposed to be, the roads aren't supposed to be too icy or too snowy. It's always better to be safe. So I will be spending a little bit more gas to go across state, but at least I'll have a bigger truck and uh, a little bit more confidence when driving through those mountain passes. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started and transfer everything out of here and put it in here and then bring the fast track over here. So let's get going on that. Got it all loaded up. All right guys, so we're all loaded up. So we got the little fast track in here. Took literally everything out, try to keep the weight down as much as I can. And everything's basically sh shoved in this trailer. So there's quite a lot of tools. Uh, as you guys can see, it's all up there in front until we hopefully get a shed out here at the new property. Um, but I brought two gas cans with me. Gonna fill these up. Uh, the reason why is because the, uh, the gauge on the Chevy, it works but it kind of doesn't once it gets about about two uh quarter tank it shows that it's at a half a tank so we're bringing gas cans just in case the fast track comes with i brought new bags tons of deck belts and then all these mower blades these are all high lift the only mulching one i have mulching set is on the fast track 
And um, so yeah, that's what's basically going on. So this thing is as empty as possible, or as empty as can be. We're strap that. Um, I'm gonna be bringing a few things with me, like a tow strap. And I'm probably gonna go buy a toolbox right now to put in the back of the Chevy. I did have one, it was my brother's. Uh, but then he got his truck back. So we're all gonna put it in the, uh, I'm gonna go get a toolbox probably just like that. So uh, that's what's going on, there's a tripod. And um, so yeah, that's all, this is all good to go. So now I gotta switch out the truck so that the truck is hooked up to this one. Get this one back, lock it all up, and, uh, and then get ready to go. Uh, so that's what we plan on doing. So let's head to the next step. Alright guys, so we went ahead and fast forward quite a few days, so we're back in Squim. Uh, just got done going cross country, got back last night about 11 o'clock at night. The pass was pretty bad, I have a little bit of footage when I was driving through, the footage that I got is not the worst, uh, just because I needed both hands on the wheel at the time. Luckily the truck did handle pretty well through the pass, but since I didn't have brakes on my enclosed trailer, uh, I had to go extremely slow because of how much weight pushing up against the truck and it was basically solid ice on the roads. So I had to take it pretty slow. So I'll show you guys the mower in a second. Uh, but what we're going to go do first, we're going to drop the trailer. I have to head back to my property because before I left, one of my tires on the dump trailer is flat. So we're going to go get that fixed. So we're going to drop this and then we're going to head off to the property, get that fixed, the dump trailer, and then we'll head back. And then I'll show you guys the mower because we got to get it all cleaned up and ready for this year. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So here we are. So this is the uh, sad looking tire. I'm not sure what, how much of this I showed in our last video, um, but this is what we got to deal with. So this was running completely fine the other day. So I got to figure out what's going on with this guy. Um, I don't know if it was just too much weight from all that gravel, especially when we were lifting it up. It was putting a ton of weight on this, but I don't believe it should have. Not sure if I mentioned this in our last video, I did get all these for free, I won't say where, but I did get them all for free. So I'm really excited about that. So some of these I'm going to be using in some of our installs and the rest I'm going to try to get sell them. Um, just because I don't want to have to, you know, it takes a lot of time, uh, or it takes up a lot of space and I don't really have too much space. And it's another thing I have to worry about. So anyways, let's go ahead and get that tire pumped up. Right, guys well here we go so I've gotten the body completely finished as you can see this looks basically brand new now did take a lot of scrubbing um, it's going basically just as fast as when I did my other one so if you want to really watch me watch this thing you guys can watch the other video uh, let me show you underneath um, it seems like since I cleaned this engine up a little bit and um, 
and had it running for a little bit. It's a little bit, it's running a little smoother now. So the only thing I haven't gotten to is this underbody side, which I'll probably get to tomorrow because I still have the deck to do and then this underside too. But the most important, I wanted to get around the engine bay, um, get that all cleaned up. That way, uh, you know, the engine's not overheating with uh, any caked on dirt or anything like that. But like I said, it's, it sure is running a lot smoother now. And there's a couple detailed spots like underneath the seat and everything like that that I need to get to. But the catcher, I always like cleaning that because, uh, man, what a difference. That sure makes it look brand new. Uh, underneath, or the inside, I just basically pressure wash it. I'll probably scrub this later. It's not that important to me. This is going to get way dirtier than anything else. So there's no point of uh, completely detailing that. So that's the, that's the body. And then the mower I have even, I just started pressure washing it. So the, this just needs to be scrubbed a little bit. Uh, this won't, eh, I'll take it a little bit because to get into all the little grooves and stuff, especially along the front. So I just want to make sure that's all good to go. So anyways, that's basically it. So this is the newest addition to the Embro family. So I'm really happy. So basically, uh, our next video, be sure to watch out for that. It's probably going to be our 2017 trailer setup. We do one every single year. We've done it since we first started. So we've done a 2014, 15, and 16. So, of course, we're going to be doing another 2017. Uh, it's just a thing I like to do. And now that I have everything I wanted, I have the... I, I didn't want to do the video until I got all the tools that I plan on buying, which was another walker mower and then the dump trailer. And then we kind of... And then, then the other truck. I wasn't planning on getting another truck this soon, but... That was a pretty good deal. So, and then uh, I had to get that. I think I talked about this. I had to get it fixed over at Les Schwab in Spokane. And what they did was they replaced the ball bearings or uh, the ball joints. Uh, let's see what else did they do. I think they fixed some of the uh, tie rods and stuff like that. Uh, the alignment. So it still floats. I'm going to have to get that checked out. Um, but at least it runs a little bit smoother now. So it's a good running truck. So I'm happy about that. So. Be sure to check out that video. That will probably be coming up really, really soon. Uh, once I get everything together, I want to get everything cleaned up. So basically this this year, we'll be running two Walkers, two Hondas, now that the X marks are gone. And I still need to sell the Hustler X1. Have one guy that's pretty interested in it, uh, but we'll we'll go from there. So anyways, this is, uh, this is the final product so far. So I'm really happy with it. So I'm just hoping that we don't run into any problems. One thing I did notice was they have uh, punctured holes on the outside and that is completely screwed up and there we go it's a little there we go that is completely screwed up because you're not supposed to uh, fix them like, like that my brother works at discount tire basically the, uh, the from right here to right here this is the zone that you can fix if it's anywhere on the side well or the side walls you can't fix that I'm pretty sure uh, it might be different from mower tires but I don't know if they did that or they got someone else to do it but it makes me wonder how the heck do they put two holes uh, into the sidewall. So anyways, other than that, um, it looks, now that it's cleaned, it looks like a really good machine. You know, it's based, it's a 2015, so it can't be that old. So let's just hope that the uh, main components are, uh, the most important things are good to go. Anyways, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. Be, sh uh, be sure to tune in and uh, watch out for the new 2017 trailer setup or uh, our completely you know all of our trailer and truck setups coming soon so thanks so much for watching we'll see you guys next time on ambrose landscaping all right guys so while i have these two together um here are the two mowers the two both of them both 2015 t25 eyes so this was my dream setup was to get these two mowers get rid of the hustlers i still have the x1 but i do have possibly someone interested in that so um i'm really happy to have these i'm really i wanted to so badly start out the year with two walkers so i'm happy uh, with the weather the way it is, it's been it keeps getting postponed because we keep getting more snow and cold weather. So the grass isn't growing. Uh, it's slowly starting to grow, just not as much as it was last last year. We were probably already on our second mowings. So luckily, with uh, with a little postpone of weather, um, it looks like we were um, you know blessed to get another mower. So so these are both them. Uh, there's only a couple things I need to get fixed on this one right here uh the little rivets um that broke off so it's not working correctly it's kind of popping off so i'm gonna have to go get a new one of those um this one i'm not too sure yet it's it's i haven't really completely ran it yet so i'm not sure exactly what all needs to be done there but uh that is what i know so far so 
we'll probably most likely get these guys tuned up completely before we um, before we start the year. But as of right now, they're looking pretty good. So, like I said, I did get the uh, the curb jumper. I think is what it's called. So uh, that's nice to have because we do need a, a couple of our accounts. Um, so, anyways, I am really happy to start this off. And like I said in the last little section I just did is uh, be sure to watch out for the 2017 uh enclosed trailer setup for this coming year like i said we've done one every single year for the past three years so we're going to keep doing that every single year because our setups keep changing with uh new truck new trailer and now new mowers and who knows what uh next year will bring and then of course we have the diesel and the small enclosed trailer further ado we'll see you guys next time on ambrose landscaping